now let's uh, talk to Dr. Marco Ruggiero. He's from the University of Florence in Italy, who supports the view that the public has been misinformed about HIV. Uh, Dr. Ruggiero, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Now, you are holding a separate yeah. AIDS conference there in Vienna. Why? What, what are you trying to achieve? Well, I've been at both conferences. I've been at the conference organized by Dr. Christian Fiala on the 16th and 17th, and I'm also attending the 18th International Conference on AIDS that is going on in these days. And I presented two different sets of data at the conference hosted by Dr. Fiala. I presented some demographic data from my region, Tuscany, in Italy that uh, put some questions on the accepted uh, dogma that HIV is the only cause for AIDS. And at the other conference, I shall present data demonstrating that stimulation of the immune system can help getting rid of the virus, which might be a revolution in therapy and might uh, confirm the words of Professor Montaigne, who say that uh, if you have a good immune system, you can get rid of the virus within a few weeks. Actually, these data have been produced in collaboration with an American scientist of Japanese ancestry, Professor Nobuto Yamamoto, who gave us a protein to stimulate the immune system. And we, are producing, we have produced some data, and we shall present those data on Thursday, demonstrating that actually a powerful stimulation of the immune system can really help to get rid of the virus. But so I don't think that those two positions are so antithetic. OK, OK. Yes, but go let me just interrupt here. It's getting a, quite complicated here. But are you saying, in effect, that the, 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 the public has been misled in the way the public has been misled in the past over the likes of mad cow disease or uh, perhaps a bird flu, swine flu? Are, are you linking that situation with the AIDS epidemic? Well, to some extent, at least the focus has been only on HIV as the only cause of AIDS. And if this proves not to be the case, at least in all cases, then there, have been a mis there has been a misleading. Not only that, but uh, to find a cure could be very extremely difficult, because if there are other, other causes, then to focus only on HIV could be uh, misleading in this fact, but, but in this you're, respect. You're, but you're going surely against uh, the World Health Organization, all those eminent doctors and professors who've been meeting in Vienna. You're a doctor yourself. What sort of reaction are you getting from the medical world with your view? Well, to say the truth, in Italy, uh, we don't have uh, any adverse reaction. And as a matter of fact, uh, we can teach uh, freely that there are at least uh, alternative views on AIDS. And we can teach this freely at the university. And actually, uh, we have been sponsored by the public health system the, of our region, who gave us uh, the possibility to attend uh, those two conferences. Yeah. So we don't uh, get any adverse reaction. And as a matter of fact, uh, our data seem to confirm the words of Professor Montaigne. So I think that in but this respect, yeah. So, 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 so go wait, ahead, wait, please. wait a minute. Something like over 30 million people uh, infected by HIV AIDS. So are you saying to them actually they could have been treated in a different way and they wouldn't be be suffering or, or possibly uh, the future looking very bleak and dying from this? Are you saying perhaps they've got it all wrong over the last year since the early 80s? Well, I can tell you that uh, just last year, this uh, professor from Japan, Professor Yamamoto, published a paper uh, published in the prestigious uh, Journal of Medical Virology demonstrating that HIV infection can be eradicated. That's uh, the exact word that he used, and this has been published by stimulating the immune system. So this means eradication of HIV infection or of signs of HIV infection. And so if uh, this will be confirmed on larger clinical scale, clinical trials, because that was just a small scale clinical trial, then yes, I can tell you that uh, HIV infection can be eradicated by stimulating, by properly stimulating the immune system. It's not so easy, but yes, we can say that uh, there could be alternative cures that have already been published. Uh, and we are just confirming with our data those results. Well, uh, very interesting to hear what you have to say. Thanks very much indeed for joining us here on RT and sharing this, uh, your views. Dr. Marco Ruggiero from the University of Florence in Italy joining us there in Vienna. Thanks very much.